Hello, welcome to Brando Consulting. This is Lance, and in this video we're going to take a quick overview of the feature Packing in Fishbowl. Packing is actually found on the shipping screen. So to record a pack in Fishbowl, we'll go to Sales, Shipping. And on the shipping screen in Fishbowl, we'll see a list of orders that have been picked. Only picked orders will show up on this screen. So we have some options here. We can mass select by selecting the top row, holding down shift, selecting the bottom row, right click and select pack. That basically skips the packing step altogether in mass. If pack isn't uh, a good feature for you, you can skip it. Another place to skip pack in Fishbowl is under Tools Module Options in the Shipping screen. On, on this area, there's a checkbox that says Auto Pack. So you can actually skip the packing step altogether. I'm going to right click here and select Status so you can see the status of the open orders that have been packed. Now, unfortunately, we can't um, void in mass, so I'm just going to go back manually and click void. Void just pushes the status back one. So it's still picked, it's still on the packaging table, it just hasn't been packed. So we'll select and click void. Okay, so now let's take a, a closer look at pack. I'm going to select this order, double click on it, and you'll see the carrier is will call. That means that they're going to come pick it up. I'm going to change the carrier to UPS because I want to ship this via UPS. So this bike, there's a quantity of one and it's going to go in one box. Very simple. Under details, we can put the contact information, signature, and notes if we'd like and under you under carrier service we can add the uh, the type of service that we're going to ship it with if we highlight the carton we can add the weight length width height and all that if we're connected to ups world ship we could go into ups world ship and enter this order number but before we go to UPS World Ship, click on the Pack button to record that this has been packed. Let's take a look at another order. This order has a mountain bike and GPS. We're going to put these two items in a different box. To do that, click the green plus sign. Add just one more box. Notice we can add multiple boxes, but we're just going to add one more box. And we'll add the, the dimensions of the box here in inches. This little area allows you to add default dimensions. Many people purchase boxes in advance, and they have five different sizes of boxes. So you can add these different sizes of boxes uh, right here and just simply add the dimensions and then you can select that next time easily. So now that we have another box we just need to move the items into that box. We can uh, right click and move down or we can use these arrows to move up and down. And It's that simple. We move it there and then once we've recorded which items are in which boxes, we click Pack. Now this is ready to be processed in UPS World Ship. You can enter this order number or scan this order number into UPS World Ship and print out a shipping label. Thanks for joining us today on a quick overview of the packing feature in Fishbowl with Brando Consulting.